But here at 16-6, Jones over Plainview, 250 remaining in this championship game. Jones on fourth down and four. George back to throw. He fires over the middle. Caught incomplete. He dropped it. He was wide open at the two-yard line and dropped it, and it's a turnover on downs, and Plainview has a little glimmer of hope left as Warner just hit in and out of his hands at the two-yard line. Well, that's a rare drop from Warner. He's he's so sure-handed, and uh, big break for the Plainview Indians as they, uh, hey, they're, they're, this, this thing's not over yet. And this will be a turnover on downs, and Plainview will take over at the 17-yard line. Not over with yet. You've got one timeout left, 2.45 on the clock. Got to get a big play. Somerville rolls out to his right. Gets a good block. Block from behind. No penalty flag thrown, and Somerville turns it upfield. Gets close to a first down. Knocked out of bounds at the 25. They're going to mark him with short about two yards. Well, a nice job right there by Somerville of getting outside and uh, buying himself some time. He was he continued to look downfield. I tell you what. The future is bright in Somerville at, at, at the quarterback position. He, the last two weeks, he's really he's he's been really impressive. Second down and two from the 25, and Somerville in there at quarterback. He has Brewster lined up here near side. Three wideouts near side, one far side. Somerville drops back to throw. Rolls left. It's a good block from Eli Paul. Tries to dump it off and skips it incomplete. I think he might have been down. He fell as he threw, and they're going to say he was down, and the clock's going to continue to run at the 22-yard line. Third down and five, 224. They got to hurry. Don't think he was aware that it was. Uh, they called him down. I don't think so either. And finally, he gets up to the line, takes the snap. Somerville rolls to his right. Now tries to turn it up, and he only picks up a couple yards. It's going to bring up fourth down and three. You got to go for it here, even though it's deep, your own territory. And fourth and three, and timeout by Plainview with 2:05 remaining down by. We'll be back in just a moment. You're listening to Plainview Football on 97.7, the big station. 2.05 left, 16 to 6. Jones on top of Plainview. This is this, this could be the ball this game. This could be the ball game right here. Fourth down and three. Plainview going for it from their own 24. There's a snap. Brewster going to step up, trying for that first I down. I think he got it. I think they're going to give him the spot. I think that he is. I think that he's going to be a football, half a football past the first down. I, yep, they give it to him. He got it with a minute 59 left. Great effort right there by Brewster. Barely gets the first down to keep the Indians alive. Down by 10 at the 28-yard line. Again, they need a big play. Brewster to throw. No, Somerville now. He swings it out. Overthrown. But Brewster is there on the back end <laughs> to make the catch. The only problem is it's going to be about uh, right at the line of scrimmage. <laughs> so no game. No game, but he's out of bounds. Clock stops. Pass was complete. There's a great heads-up play from Colby just to, to – the, the pass was actually to, I think, Parker out mm-hmm. there uh, to Foster out in the flat, but uh, it kind of went over his head, and Brewster was Johnny on the spot and able to make the catch. And <laughs> Unbelievable. So it's basically like an incomplete yeah. complete. <laughs> <laughs> Second down and 10 from the 28. Somerville to throw. Being flushed out. Has a roll to his right. Looking downfield, he fires on the run. Complete to Hudson at the 31-yard line. A pickup of about three, as we call Hudson's name there. Nice strike right there uh, by Somerville to to Hudson. But uh, that was all. The the whole play was created because James Isaacs, the the defensive tackle, just – applied a, a lot of pressure on the near side right here and forced Somerville to roll to his right and uh, but was that to find Hudson for about a what four three or four yard gain Rog? Yeah three yard three third down and but he seven. got out of bounds that's good at the 31 yard line to throw Somerville this is a lateral 
to uh, way down the field for Pass Brewster, and it's incomplete, but an interference. That was a lateral. It was very close to not being a lateral to Parker Foster. Foster heaved it down the field about 30 yards, well, incomplete, but there's a penalty flag down. Well, what it was, they set it up, and if you remember, they ran it earlier, and it was uh, underthrown, but uh, this time they, they're, they're setting up, made it look like that slip screen that they like to run, that little set screen out there to the near side right here, and then Brewster went streaking down the sidelines and actually had a step ball just a little underthrown again. Brewster weight on it, but this time it works out to uh, Plainview's advantage Advantage because uh, that was, uh, I believe, Houston that was, was uh, there just a little bit early on the interference. First down and 10 for Plainview now at their own 44. Minute 30 left down by 10. Three wide outs, far side, one near side for Somerville. Back to throw. Now he steps up in the pocket, flushed out. He rolls to his right, fires in triple coverage and complete. Caught after about a nine-yard pickup. Good catch and down slow to get up for Plainview. It looks like receiver. Brewster, I think. Is that Brewster? Yeah, I believe so. He picks up nine. He and took a shot right there, and I hope Kobe's okay. He's a, he's a good kid. Playing his last game here. At Plainview, and he's <laughs> Kobe. You know he's been a he's been a problem for for me for many years <laughs> because I've had to coach against him, mm. uh, and Garrett's had to play against him ever since we were in the fifth fifth grade. And uh, he's been a tremendous athlete for a long time, and and I hope that he's okay. Don't want to see him go out like this. With one seventeen left, Jones up sixteen to six. We'll take a break as they still tend to Brewster on the side on the on the field uh, down at the forty six. We'll be back in a moment on 97.7, the big station. Second down and one, Somerville heaving it up in the air for a desperation. It's intercepted, intercepted by Jones at the 14-yard line, Jace Farmer. I don't know how they're going to rule this, Roger. Look like they are going to say interception by Jones. And again, that was created. That was created by Jaron Isaacs. He, once again, getting tremendous penetration right there and pressure on Somerville. Somerville did a good job of stepping up in the pocket, but he had to hurry his throw a little bit, and Jones comes up with the interception. But I, I will say this, Kobe Brewster got up on his own accord and went off to the sideline, so we're glad to see that. That interception is going to seal it here tonight for Jones. As they have a 10-point lead with a minute six left, Plainview cannot stop the clock. Jones going to win the state title here tonight at Moore. As Plainview on the sidelines with a few seniors, very emotional here tonight. And Jones wants to call a timeout here. Yeah, they had a, they had an illegal substitution or something. They, they they didn't have the right personnel in, so they want a timeout. We'll take a quick break and come back after this on 97.7, the big station. 16-6, Jones with a lead over Plainview. Roger Price and Shane Lemons here at Moore for the state championship game in 3A. By the way, the Ardmore Tigers fall short uh, to Cardinal Ritter tonight in basketball, 75-69. The Tigers play tomorrow morning at 11 o'clock against Kansas City Staley in that tournament in Springfield, and you can watch that on the Tiger channel at KICM.com and it looks like George is just going to take a knee as they're in victory formation the Jones Longhorns are going to finish the season undefeated at 15-0 and well and they've pretty much been the number one team in the state wire to wire Roger mm-hmm. and that's uh, that's uh, that's pretty rare in this uh, in this day and age in 3A football but uh, hats off to the Jones Longhorns as they line up again to take a snap here, they're going to take the snap with under 30 seconds remaining. This may be the last snap they have to take. And there it is. They take the knee, and that's going to do it. That'll do it. The Jones Longhorns, state champions in 3A in Oklahoma, as they knock off the Plainview Indians here tonight at Moore, 16-6. to As our hats off again to our Plainview Indians, Carter County in southern Oklahoma, proud of this ball club who takes home the silver ball here tonight. 